Hi there, I'm Mark Camosio and we're here at Pete's Airgun Farm and uh, what I'm here to show you now is uh, one of the very latest Cytron field target scopes. Um, I was lucky enough to be in a field target right from the start um, but the sport has somewhat changed since the early days when I took, place, uh, took, took part. Um, you go to a, a current field target shoot and you're going to see um, people in shooting jackets all top match rifle rigs and a key element of the sport of course is the parallax range finding scopes um, which is done with parallax adjustment. Um, Cytron have actually, um, they're an American brand and they've um, really made quite a, an impact in, in the sport um, because they've come out with their top line high mag um, scopes. Field Target does rely on a high magnification and um, this is the uh, S3 SS 10 to 50 by 60 um, FT, uh, and then it's IRMOA model. There's a lot of um, initials there, but basically, this is their FT model and it's variable magnification 10 to 50 times. Um, so that's up to 50 times uh, magnification. And obviously, people like March have pushed that to the limit with that they're now doing the 80 times, which is um, quite extreme, but obviously, people. Um, if it suits your eyes you can you can use it um, but this is a very nice um, sort of uh, top end specification um, and but quite popular so it's 10 to 50 um, 50 times mag obviously making everything look very big but it's all about a sh having a shallow field of view so that when you get down on the target and you're adjusting the parallax you want it to come in super sharp and that's only going to be a, a sharp um, image for a short band you're doing this with these um, adjustable side wheel these just, just the wheel just pushes onto the turret and then tightens up with a couple of allen keys it all comes as part of the kit um, with this scope and um, basically I've been out on the field with this one and I set up um, my own markers um, along the side just temporarily which is the way you want to do it to start um, before you put any official range marks on your wheel and I must say everything was snapping in um, quite reliably um, to within a couple of yards. I mean, I'm, I've been out of the FT loop for a while, but um, top shooters with these things are getting normally within a yard now um, of actual judging the distance. Um, shooters like John Costello won a world championship with the last specified um, Cytron, so it's got pedigree. Um, it's a very nice scope. You've got, I'll show you here, You've got target turrets, and of course with, with FT, um, most people are, you could just use um, range estimation and, and a graduated reticule, but most shooters are actually dialing for each target, so they'll have worked out that um, at a certain range it's so many clicks on the dial and you're literally using this and physically dialing in to be spot on for each target at each given distance as you're presented. Um, in a course so you've got very nice turrets and I say the adjustments and clicks are quite positive as well um, so I'll just check my spec on it so it's a, uh, the weight's around 30 ounces if um, obviously that makes a difference if you don't want things too heavy um, FT rigs have all got quite heavy now and of course the weight does help with stability so you've got to bear all that in mind uh, it's a 30 millimeter body tube um, and these come in around 1375 pounds um, and for that is, there's also a rubber shroud which I do apologise I've um, not got here and but there's another option with the reticule um, this one has the MOA reticule um, but there is a mil hash reticule which is um, 0.05 mil rad click values as well um, I'll just show you the reticule that is in on this model that's the MOA um, reticule um, it's got quite a nice design there um, a floating dot and then you've got obviously graduation so you could actually set it up for different ranges and literally use holdover um, but you'll find most competitors are actually dialing in the ranges um, but basically yes if you're in the market for a field target scope then the Cytron S3 SS 10 to 50 by 60 um, is one of the top options